please welcome to the TCL Chinese Theater's Four Quarter of the Stars stage, Jamie's dear friend, Academy Award winning nominee, Melanie Griffith. Is anybody here from New Jersey? <laughs> what exit? <laughs> Good morning. I am so happy to be here today to honor and celebrate one of the most extraordinary women that I've ever known, my friend Jamie Lee Curtis. I may cry, sorry. <sighs> For two girls like us who grew up in the glimmer and glow of old Hollywood, to have your hands and feet immortalized in cement at the legendary Chinese theater is a really, really big deal. It's an honor only for those who have left an indelible mark on this industry, and Jamie has certainly done that. She's done the Halloween films and is a horror icon, of course, but she's also been a sex symbol a comedian, an action hero, and a fantastic dramatic actress. She's been a movie star, a TV star, and a social media warrior. And she is funny. She can make you laugh until you cry. She runs the gamut, multiple gamuts. She's an actress, an author, an activist, a photographer, a philanthropist, and a powerhouse. She is a mother to Annie and Ruby, and she has been married to Chris for 38 years. She is everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> and throughout it all, Jamie has been relentlessly, fiercely, unapologetically herself. She is constantly evolving and surprising us. She has defined what beauty and power and strength look like during every decade of her life and she has refused to shape herself to be what this industry or the media or anyone else wanted her to be. She decides who she is, always. The rest of us just have to try and keep up. Jamie and I have been friends for 42 years now. We met in 1980 when we were both in our early 20s, and we already had a lot in common. We were both Hollywood kids. Our mothers had starred in Hitchcock films, and our fathers, our fathers would both eventually get married five or six times, respectively. <laughs> Her parents were some of the biggest stars of their era, and yet Jamie has managed to eclipse them. She's the only one to have her hands and feet in cement at the Chinese. And over all these years, I've been among the lucky ones, I've been one of the lucky ones to know Jamie and to love her and to be loved by her, and here's what I know is true. Jamie is an undeniable force for good in the world, and she is the most present person that I know. She lives her life with thought, intention, care, and with limitless curiosity. A self-described idea girl and a master planner, Jamie will call you up with an idea, either for how to, that's really loud, either for how to make your life better or someone else's life better, and she'll already have a plan and a timeline for how to get that done. When Jamie loves you, she is in for the long haul. She never gives up on anyone or anything that she believes in. We've been through all of life's ups and downs and sideways and overs and unders together. We are each other's sober sister, and for reasons that neither one of us can quite remember, we have always called each other Miss Kiss. Jamie is a person of dignity, humor, grace, and incredible drive. I am in awe of her, her heart, her intelligence, her wit and wisdom, and of her kindness and consideration for others. As a friend, Jamie Lee is always the first person to step up, the first person to say yes, and the first person to express gratitude. She's the first person to grab your hand, and she is always, always the first person to have your back. She is strong, vulnerable, emotional, and present, even when it hurts maybe even especially when it hurts. There is a whole universe inside of Jamie. She is quite simply the most alive person that I've known. Jamie has devoted so much of her life to her kids, and despite all of her success as an actor, she has told me that the 13 children's books she's written are the work that she is the most proud of. During the pandemic, while everyone else was sitting around, Jamie, well, not everybody, but most people were sitting around, 
Jamie put out two podcasts, Letters from Camp and Good Friend. And then to top it off, she started a beautiful little company called My Hand in Yours to help fund Children's Hospital Los Angeles, which she has worked with for more than 20 years. My Hand in Yours sells objects of comfort and celebration and has already raised close to a million dollars. And because Jamie and Chris underwrite the whole thing, every cent goes to the hospital. My Hand in Yours is as exquisite as she is. So there's something very beautiful about the idea that after today, we all can now literally put our hands in hers here at the Chinese theater. <laughs> I love that one. It's so true. <laughs> For almost as long as I've known her, her life motto has been, if not now, when, and if not me, who? So I am proud and grateful to be able to say to her today, Jamie, my dear, beautiful friend, my Miss Kiss, the answer to those questions is now and you. Always you and always now. I love you so, so much. Congratulations. Thank you.